not a kid anymore. You're a man. Ow! You know, I think I turned out okay, right? Don't you live with your mom? Hey, she lives with me, okay? Look, I pay the mortgage. In Buckus, we get a fictitialized version of Pete Davidson's life. Now, for the few things that I know about this kid's life, it has been interesting for him. His father passed away on 9-11 as a first responder. He is and was a stand-up comic. He's a uh, enigmatic uh, performer on Saturday Night Live. He has also dated Kim Kardashian after she divorced Kanye West. So overall, this kid's life has definitely been interesting. And this is a look at that life from his perspective. Now, I also know that Pete has battled mental health issues for the majority of his life. This, along with the usual life struggles and his own specific events, are a big part of his unique perspective on life. This series attempts to show us how he views the world and how he believes the world views him. And, if nothing else, it promises to be unique. Now, I can't say that I've ever found Pete Davidson ever particularly funny. Maybe a chuckle or two and a few sketches or dialogue on Saturday Night Live, but not someone I tune in for. And his brand of humor lends itself to be of the dark comedy type and even possible cringe comedy, especially in this series. So I'm looking at this series as a casual viewer and give that perspective, but I'll see if I can tap into a bit of the main target audience's perspective as well. I mean, that's what I do. I watch the first two episodes of new content on streaming platforms just to see if they're worth your time. If you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. And now, let me get to this review. Buck is premiered on Peacock in May of 2023. It has eight episodes in its first season, each about 25 minutes each. It stars Pete Davidson as himself, Edie Falco as Pete's mom, and Joe Pesci as his grandfather. As this series focuses on Pete's life and perspective, fans of Pete will be the main target audience for this. But also, if you prefer dark or cringe comedy, this is also made for you. You'll likely be looking for Pete's unique perspective on things, probably moments that some would consider over the top, and a deeper look into life. Casual viewers not familiar with Pete or the, his type of comedy are going to be looking for mainstream jokes or references, as well as likable characters or stories to laugh at. So let's see how this goes. Off top, there's no particular story per se. We're seeing Pete in various interactions with people in his life, both in the present and in the past. As this is all from his perspective, some of the stories can be over the top. I like in this style of series to uh, curb your enthusiasm type. Each episode can be a standalone, but it also has nods or homages to earlier episodes or events. It's competently storyboarded, but it's kind of hard to evaluate on perspective since it is a point of view from Pete's perspective. Both mains and casuals should be able to follow the stories. There are definitely some weird stories in here, and I'll warn anyone off top, if you can make it out of the opening scene and still be cool, then this series might be for you. If not, you'll likely just shut it down, never look back, and I really don't know if there's an in-between category. In acting and characters, of course, Pete is himself. And while he's not for everyone, including me, he at least doesn't try to do anything more than being himself. There's not a massive ego trying to make himself look good or better than anyone else. In some situations, he looks crazy and insane. In others, he seems to be the voice of reason. And in most situations, he's just trying to get through the day. So it's a decent job by him on what he's portraying here. Edie Falco and Joe Pesci are award-winning actors and seem to be on board with attempting to tell his mother and grandfather's stories respectively. Joe Pesci gets more to work with in the first two episodes and he's pretty decent at being the cranky, stereotypical, Staten Island, 
old school granddad. But he also offers words of wisdom as well as words of absurdity with his character. And I like this character. Special shout out goes to Brad Garrett and Bobby Conovo as supporting characters. The characters have some heart in this series and there are some funny lines and comedy going on here. Some other considerations in this series is that this is a dark comedy that makes you think about life. It also makes you think about death and everything in between. Relationships, fame, family. Some of it is a bit heavy handed, but there are also some soft things to be conveyed. The series also appears to be filmed all in Pete's stomping grounds of Staten Island and New York City. So the settings are very New York centric. It also appears that no subject is too taboo for Pete to explore, whether it's the death of his father or, as I stated before, that first scene. And no, I'm not spoiling it. You'll have to get through it just like me to experience what I'm talking about there. But those are some of my initial thoughts about this particular series. What's my verdict? For main target audiences, I'm going to say watch the first two episodes. The first episode definitely gives you a good story with his granddad and probably is a good barometer of his type of comedy. But the second episode dives deeper into a bit more retrospective of Pete's life and offers a more centered story. Now, for casuals, I'm going to tell you, watch one episode. As I said before, you get past the first scene, you'll make it to the end of episode one. But the cringe is not quite done with you there after that first scene. Now, you'll at least be able to say that you got a glimpse into Pete's mind and decide if it was for you or not if you get through episode one. Either way, you're going to get a unique perspective while watching Joe Pesci give a good performance. So again, for mains, watch the first two episodes. For casual viewers, give it a one episode watch. And that's what I have for Bunkus on Peacock. Check it out away from anything in your life in 30 seconds flat. That's why I got nothing tying me down. You have a kid. Oh, yeah. This is what I mean. He stayed for the entire review. As always, appreciate you. Do me a favor. Click like, share, subscribe if this was your cup of tea. And if it's not, go ahead and actually leave me some comments. Let me know what's up. Also, if you could do me a favor and watch one of my other videos that the algorithm seems to might be right up your alley. But until the next review, I'll holla at you. Take care of yourself.